and Scott here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the rear suspension unit out of my Honda CBR 600 track bike. Uh, something that's handy to know uh, and it's uh, often has to be taken out on a track bike for servicing and um, you know, for adjustments. So I'm going to show you how to take it out the easy way using this. It's car deck. Hopefully you'll find this very helpful. So enjoy the video. Okay, fellas, we're going to take the um, rear shock out of this bike. Um, and I apologise for the background noise. There's a fellow out the front there with a bobcat lighting a truck. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take this uh, fire hugger off. So that's a fine little one thing. Okay, that's, <coughs> that's the last of the three bolts. I've taken the tire hugger off. The other method of taking the weight off the suspension is just to use a car jack in this area in here. So you put the transmission in gear to lock the wheel basically. And because I'm going to take the shock gear out, um, the best thing is to actually take the nut, the, yeah, the nut off the bolt first while it's loaded up and then put the jack in place. So I'll just undo the, the, the bottom nut. So here you can see I've removed the bottom nut off the bolt, so that went there. There's the shocky I've got nylons in this. And then there's the top bolt. And I've taken the nut off the bolt there. So what I'm going to do is put the car jack in. I'm going to put this uh, right angles to the wheel because I need the I need the room in here to be able to pull the suspension unit out. So you just put the put the jack on the tire, put a block of wood there to protect the slip on exhaust. You can just wind it by hand. So, there you go, that's pretty well taken the weight off, and I can actually feel it. I can adjust it. So then I'll just pull the, pull the bolt straight out. And put it straight back in again. So, it's a handy way of actually being able to uh, put it back together as well, because you can adjust it. So, it's a nice wire. So, this. That one. And then I'll take the, I'll push the bottom one out. And there you go. One Orleans shocky. They came back again. So I've done the work to the suspension. What I've done is I've lengthened this a little bit to compensate for the lower profile tyre. Added one and a half turns. And I've also put on a little bit more initial preload, another four millimetres. Because uh, the hydraulic was running out of adjustment. So, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to put these back in using this method with the car jack compared to having stands under your foot pegs. If you have uh, support under your foot pegs, you've got to jiggle and muck around with the back wheel to get it all lined up to get the bolts back through. But uh, doing it this way is a lot easier and probably safer. So let's let's go. Hopefully this will be quick. So the suspension unit goes in there. First thing I'll do is put the bottom bolt in. And that that goes in from the other side. So I'm just going to pop around the other side to do that. So 
So that bottom bolt is in, and then the top bolt. So just get the uh, bushing between the, the two lugs there, and this this one goes in from this side. So that's. Just there, there you go. So hopefully you can see that was very quick. So now all I have to do is put the 17mm nuts on each end, um, let the jack off to so it's all loaded up and the bolts are held and then tighten the nuts up and put the little rear hugger back on and the job's finished. So thanks very much for watching.